Well, Lent is known as the time of fasting. So I'm going to talk a little bit about fasting. How did that start? Where did it begin? How was it developed down through the history of the church? Because, you know, if your folks were around, or in my case, my parents, but maybe your grandparents or great-grandparents, when they celebrated Lent, they did it differently than we do today. I can remember my mom and dad going out and weighing the food before each meal because they weren't allowed so many ounces of food before, for that meal. But that all changed. And nowadays we're down to two days of fast and abstinence in Lent, Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, and days of abstinence the other Fridays during Lent. So that's where we are today, but that's not the way it always was. So we go back to the earliest days of the church, and we try to, first of all, try to find out what the Lenten fast was about. We found that they did this way back in the 300s. And at that time, they had a, a time, there's 40 days, to reenact or to appreciate the, and remember what Jesus did in his 40 days out in the desert before he began his public life. And the way they did this was abstaining from any kind of animal food. That included fish, meat, and then the derivatives of those animals, eggs, milk. That's hard for us to believe today, but that's the way they did it. They were very close to that when they started the 40 days. But fasting for them was not unheard of. In fact, before that time, they, sat, they began to do what they learned as Jewish people, practicing fasting in the Jewish tradition, which was Monday and Thursday. Typically in a week, that was the day they fasted. The Christians chose different days, Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday because that's the day that Jesus was betrayed. Friday because that's the day on which Jesus died. That's the way it began. But there was another interesting thing that happened. And it was called the Paschal Fast. And the Paschal Fast was two days. Friday and Saturday of Holy Week. And for many people, they would eat nothing. In fact, some of the authors talk about this as being an ancient Roman tradition where they would eat nothing. In fact, priests wouldn't even celebrate Mass on those days. Some people wanted to go to communion on those days. Some people didn't. There was a big controversy as to what they could do or what they couldn't do. But that Paschal fast is something that's sort of come back in a way. If we read the document on the liturgy from the Second Vatican Council, there's a section there, and this, I want to read what it said in that section. The Paschal Fast should be observed everywhere on Good Friday and continued, where possible, on Holy Saturday. In this way, the people of God will receive the joy of the Lord's resurrection with uplifted and responsive hearts. That's why we fast. Forty days, Paschal Fast, Whatever, it's still our time to think of Jesus, to think of what he did, and to leave our sins behind, turning our eyes towards Jesus.